I'd like to talk about how to solve a problem even when you're not 100% sure of what the correct answer is just by using clues that are provided to you in the answer choices. Uh, you may be surprised, but the answer choices themselves, even the incorrect ones, can also give clues that lead to the correct answer choice. Let's take a look at this one. This is a problem where uh, you're asked to put together a group and it's, you're given some details and it's, you're told uh, certain things about the group and asked to identify what type of group this is. Is it either A, a heterogeneous closed group, B, a homogeneous open group, C, a homogeneous closed group, or D, a homogeneous open or closed group. And so we kind of have two different things. First, whether the group is homogeneous or heterogeneous, and then whether it's an open closed or in this case, open or closed group. So first, let's just look at this first part of the answer choices. As you can see, three of them say homogeneous and only one says her heterogeneous. And so it's likely that the correct answer choice is going to be one of these three. Uh, because again, the writer, writer of the test questions and the answer choices is trying to trick you up and have answer cho choices that are close to the correct one, but not quite the correct one. Which uh, by having some of the information in the answer choice being correct, uh, but not all of it, uh, makes you likely to get uh, tricked. And if you don't really understand the what's being asked, you might miss it. But here we're just trying to see what we can identify. Now going to the second half of the answer choices, we have closed here, open, closed, and then open or closed. So you have open in here twice in B and D. You have closed in here three times in A, C, and D. And so that, that's going to be the majority of choices in that part of the answer choice. And so if we're looking for something that pairs it up uh, the best, and we say that since open is in here twice, which is less good, and, and if we cancel those out, you're going to be left with choice C. D would be in contention, but for the fact that it contains open, which is only in here one other time, the best overall one is going to be C. And so if you're forced into a situation where you have to guess, you want to do it in an educated fashion and uh, this allows you to quickly kind of move through and answer choice and, and make a decision. And it can be particularly helpful if you have it narrowed down. If you know it's either B or C but not D, then that might uh, further allow you to uh, eliminate some choices and uh, get the correct answer.